Harvey. I really hope you have seen the last Thunderbolts video from Michael Armstrong, Night Linguistic, No and Eight. As we can see here in the background, is um, he made this kind of a discovery in language about night and eight, how they are related, and it's very interesting. In German, night is Nacht. The negative is nine. Eight is acht. Die Nacht. Italian night is not dead. The negative negative is no. Eight is otto. It also turned out that it doesn't work in Finland. And is it Lietua, Letland, I don't know. Which is on the other side of the shore. Gachdeksan. That's a screenshot from a page. Gachdeksan. Here. And eight. It's number eight. Gachdeksan. And the night is Uhr. It's the night. So, they don't go together. <laughs> in no way. Not like in the others. There is nothing which you could somehow make a connection to. How the night and the eight would relate linguistically. So, I found that very intriguing and I wasn't really about to trying to figure that out how it's so and what's the reason and why it's not so because I really tried to get my paper together as quick as possible and it just happens so that <laughs> I could come forth with an answer which I I'm about to do what could be the reason for why these two words don't relate with each other? So now let's start somewhere. I was reading the Kalevala recently a little bit. And uh, that's from the Oxford version. World Ox Oxford World Classic. I think I read from that book some 700 pages or something. And it says, like, so at the third time, he could fell the oak and shatter the world shallow, shallow, and bring down the hundred leaved, the base he trust to the east and the top he lowered northwest. If we zoom out and take a look at the surface conductivity anomaly, here in Fennoskandia or Scandinavia or Finland or whatever you want to call it. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia. It is aligned northwesternly and easternly. As it says in the Kalevala. So, this is already. I think something very interesting. But what created this surface conductivity anomaly in the first place? I think it could be that once upon a time it happened so that Earth's magnetosphere collapsed, at least for a brief moment, or it got so compressed that the polar cusps, which are here, very far away from Earth, they are way out there, which look in a way like this. This is their whatever magnetical imprint in situ spacecraft observations. The magnetic signature or something. 
It has striking similarities with the surface conductivity anomaly. In other words, the heavens touched the ground. And the thing is, we were just reading about the oak which got felt in this northwesterly and easterly direction. The oak is represented here on the left. That's from Wikipedia. The structure of the world according to Finnish mythology. It doesn't look like a, an oak at all here on the picture. But on the right, here, depiction of an intense auroral funnel. The figures show both downflowing and upflowing Birkeland currents contained with two concentric sheets. Oblique upward view. Side view barely dissemble. Discernible at the lower center are the sea pinch instabilities. Anthony Peratt. So now, what I tried to explain earlier about the heavens touching the earth and the polar cusps. The upper side of that, this is somewhere where the polar cusps are, or start, or however you want to put it. But remember, they are usually very far out there, thousands of kilometers. But the imprint of the surface conductivity anomaly, which we have here. It has somehow striking similarities with the polar cusps. What else could create such a feature where we have very abundant copper accumulations and uranium and all kinds of things in the ground? And they are basically on in the top layer. You don't have to dig deep. So we have to probably assume that they come or they came from above. I am not aware of any volcano which would erupt copper. Maybe there is something like that. If, you, if there is something on the volcano which erupts metals like copper or Gold? Tell me. <laughs> but anyway, we are still talking about the mystery of why Gahdeksan, which is the number eight, and Ur, which is night, doesn't fit together like it does in other languages. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch now the video. I featured in the beginning the last Thunderbolts project video. So now, since the imprint, the surface conductivity anomaly has the shape basically of this thing here, up here, which could have been back in the days, or usually now today, it's probably thousands of kilometers away from Earth. I don't know exactly where's the place, you know. But it's far away, hundreds of kilometers maybe. Like the noctilus and clouds, but you can see every now and then popping up, they are approximately at the same height as the Aurora Borealis, is at its lowest. So if you can see the clouds, noctilus and clouds, you know approximately how high the aurora borealis will be, because it's just above the clouds. There might be just a thin layer, a double layer, an atmospheric a double layer distinguishing those two layers 
from where we have auroras or clouds. But anyway, the surface conductivity anomaly would be here. So the people here in Finland, they would probably have been within here in the center. So, it was bright, there was no night, like for the others outside of this tunnel or funnel. You could imagine this being auroras. Let's just draw yellow ones and maybe a few green ones. And the Finnish people are inside that bright spot. That's why probably they don't have any relation from eight to night because there wasn't any night. It was just bright because of the aurora. I don't know. This is something I have been pondering about for some days now and now I'm just Get it out there. Maybe that's totally wrong or whatsoever, but this is something I came up with. And again, I have to point to this, the relationship between the polar cusp and this surface conductivity anomaly. And what it said in the Kalevala. to the northwest and to the east. Maybe it was a little bit shaky after or in the end before it in a way collapsed and left the imprint or it just went down, you know, I don't know. But maybe that's the reason there is no relationship between Gardexon 8 and Ur night not like no and eight night but anyway this is just what i have been thinking in recent days now i hopefully get rid of the thinking about this because i wasn't supposed to think about that but how what to do like things pop up everywhere <laughs> and they're all related so it stays very interesting. Be careful what you read. <laughs> you know, you could drift off topic because it just stays interesting. What to do? Thank you. Bye.